So I just ran some code that makes it so that one second after I walk over a block, it disappears. And this is exactly what we need for spleef, and I will show you that code in just a minute, but I just want you to get a sense for how it works. So basically, any block I touch, one second later, it disappears. And I can kind of like stand in one place, and the block underneath me will disappear, and then one second later, that block disappears, and then the next block, and so on. Deeper and deeper. So you, I think you'll be surprised, actually, at how simple the code is. Um, and it's really all you need to be playing Spleef. But first, we need an arena. We need somewhere we can play. And y although you can do that with a mod, you can have code that builds the whole arena, I'm just going to use World Edit because it's a little bit easier. Maybe in a future video, I'll show you how to do it with code. So I just ran Pose 1 to set my first position, and I'm going to travel somewhere else where I'm going to run pose 2. And then I'll set every block in between those positions to bedrock. Got to remember to do two slashes, set bedrock. And that's going to set a whole bunch of blocks to bedrock. It takes a moment, it looks like nothing happened, but we will see a bedrock platform appear in just a moment. There it is, starting to render now. So there's our big bedrock platform, and I this is going to be the start of a big, big pool of lava. But we need walls first, so I'll use a few more world edit commands. I'll first expand my selection up one block. So expand up one, one up. So expand one up, and then I'll do slash slash walls bedrock. So now, my whole bedrock platform has kind of a lip, so that the lava will not fall out. I'll just walk around to see that that all rendered okay. Looks pretty good. So now, let's fill it with lava. I'll go to one corner. Uh, maybe, should I use my wand? Actually, I won't use the wand. I think I will just use pose one again. So I'll go right here in the corner. I'll type slash slash pose one. And then I'm going to go all the way to the other side. I'm going to run all the way across here. I should probably be sprinting. Get me there a little bit faster. There we go. Okay, so all the way to the other corner, and I'll run slash slash pose two. Pose two. There we go. And now that I have the inside selected, I can run slash slash set lava. That'll fill up the whole thing with lava after just a moment. There we go. Cool. So we got a big tank of lava that people can fall into. And we're going to build our arena right on top of that. So about right here is where we'll start. Pose 1. And I'll go almost all the way across, but not quite to the end. Maybe about uh, like right here, I guess. Yeah. And I'll run Pose 2. And then I'll set everything in between those positions to be uh, snow. Actually, it needs to be snow block. Let's try that again. Set snow block. And there we go. So now we have a snow platform. And I'll use the same trick as when I was building our tank of lava. I'll use expand up. Don't forget, it. actually, it needs to be two slashes. Expand 10 up, and I'll use the walls command. Ooh, I just fell. Let's try that again. I will use the walls command. There we go. And what that does is finishes up our arena. So we have a big platform of snow surrounded by really high walls, so you can't get away. In fact, the only way to get out is if you lose by falling through the floor during the game of Spleef. You can see that if I destroy a block right here, you see the lava underneath. It's pretty scary. You definitely don't want to fall into that. So that is our arena. We're ready to play, but I want to take a detour and look at the code. So join us in the next video, video number two, to see how you can code up the game of Spleef in just eight lines of code. No joke, eight lines.